Water security is one of the biggest threats to the lives and livelihoods of the people of the OECS. The Caribbean's water sources are not only fragile, but also vulnerable and depleting. Yet water is vital to our health and to our quality of life. Water is valuable for economic purposes and for environmental sustainability. The primary water sources in the OECS are groundwater and the surface water tapped from springs, rivers or streams. St. Kitts is one of the islands in the OECS that accesses water from underground sources. An estimated 70% of the island's water supply comes from wells and 30% from surface water or springs. There's fresh water beneath us that is constantly being replenished by rain falling, but that, sits, that fresh water sits on top of the seawater, salt water. As sea levels continue to rise, seawater gets into groundwater reserves that are located near shore areas, contaminating the same sources that wells draw water from. In the case of St. Kitts, some of these wells are only half a mile away from the shore. If sea level were to rise, these wells, we may lose them. We may lose them. And so, if a well is drilled at a higher elevation, it has a much better chance of, of surviving a one foot rise in, in, in sea level. There are also major challenges from climate change to surface water sources. In dry periods, water will become scarce and prolonged droughts will have serious implications for water sources. In wet periods, there will be the challenge from too much water. Gathering and analyzing information on weather is essential to planning for climate change, especially with unpredictable rainfall patterns. Agencies extracting underground water must be able to determine the optimum abstraction rate of fresh water. That is, how much water we're getting by precipitation or rainfall, how much is actually going into the ground, how much is being lost by evapotranspiration, and, um, and, and at the end of the day, that would determine for us, at the water utility, how much water we will have available. For islands like St. Vincent and St. Lucia, that depend on surface water, heavily silted rivers pose a problem during and after heavy rains. This situation has forced some water authorities to explore ways to mine filtered and cleaner water sources beneath the riverbed. Even during the rainy season when the river water itself is cloudy because of um, siltation, this water below the bed level has already filtered through the bed. This technique for tapping water is called subterranean water extraction. It's something we can use during the dry season. Because during the dry season you find that the levels of the rivers actually subside. So there is still water below the bed which we can capture. During the rainy season, the water is turbid and not usable. So we can still capture the water below the riverbed. These measures are some of the ways water companies are adapting to climate change. With more severe droughts expected, water companies will have to make much bigger investments in water storage facilities, especially because new residential areas will make heavier demands on the water supply. In order to reduce the impacts of climate change on the water sector, here's what you can do. Install low water flush toilets. Take shorter showers. Install rainwater systems. Brush your teeth using a cup of water instead of using a running tap. Wash only when you have full loads of laundry. Close the tap while washing dishes. And use a bucket for washing vehicles instead of a hose. A threat to water security is a threat to our very existence. Our health, economy and general quality of life depend on a clean and reliable water supply. While climate change is expected to impact our water resources, we must play our part by improving our water conservation habits. Act now. Rally. Rethink. Respond.
This message is brought to you by the OECS Secretariat with funded assistance from the United States Agency for International Development.